Good morning, John Mashney here with another Intense Life book review. What that is, is I take a book that I've read recently and I pull some of the key points and I reflect about what are some of the best things that I pulled from the book. That way, if you don't wanna take the time to read the book, you can get some actionable, practical steps that you can take in your own life and you can learn from the book. If you do have an interest in reading the book, you can know a little bit about it and you can figure out whether you wanna read it or not. So today's book is Winning Through Intimidation by Mr. Robert Ringer. Actually, this is one of the best nonfiction books that I've read in the last five years. Excellent, excellent book about, well, I'll cover what that it covers, but it's an excellent, excellent book. And just, I wanna make a little preface here about the title of the book. It's called Winning through intimidation. It's not teaching you how to intimidate people or how to succeed by intimidating. It's actually discussing how to succeed when you live in a world where everyone is trying to intimidate you and trying to influence your own level of success. So be wary, it's not necessarily what it sounds like, or at least the content of the book is not necessarily what it may appear from the title. So. Winning Through Intimidation. I'm actually only gonna cover one point here because it's a huge one and I think it's super, super important. What is that point? Here's the point, reality. The point I'm trying to make that I pulled from this book is reality. The author wonders in this book, at the very beginning, if the natural state of humanity is to resist reality because people act in a way that is basically total resistance to reality. He wonders, is this how naturally we're supposed to act to resist real life? He said, most people live in a life full of delusions. They can't accept the realities of life. The first step towards winning through intimidation, the title of the book, is to accept reality as it is. Don't try to change it so that it's cleaner, so that it's nicer, so that it fits our framework of how we like things to work. No, accept things as they are. That's the first step to winning through intimidation. And when I read this, and there's way more fantastic points in the book, but I'm only focusing on this one so that it can make an impact on us. Because it reminded me of another very similar concept from a book that I've read previously, and maybe I'll do an Intense Life book review on someday, called Good to Great by Jim Collins. And one of the traits of a level five leader, according to Jim Collins, is confronting the brutal reality. Not being afraid to look at life and say, no, this is what is happening right now. It may be horrible, it may be tragic, but this is what's going on. And you can't be afraid to say this is reality. He calls it confronting the brutal reality. So in Jim Collins' book, he references this concept of looking at the world and being able to understand what is really going on and being able to identify and accept it, like this is reality. Confronting the brutal reality is important. So we have Winning Through Intimidation. We have Good, uh, Good to Great by Jim Collins. And finally, one of my mentors as an attorney. He, would al he always says this to me. I probably have heard it a dozen times. John, the best attorneys take the facts as they are given to them. They don't try to force the facts that they would like into a case. They accept the facts that they're given and they make the arguments and the presentations and the, the, uh, the shape of what they're trying to create from those facts that they're given. They don't come up with arguments and say, if only this one fact were different, I would have a perfect argument. No, sometimes facts are messy. Sometimes the situations we're handed are messy. And I think in all three of these, the two books and my mentor, it's 
they all said the same thing. Confront the brutal reality. Don't live in a state of delusion. Don't let your natural tendency to buy into a fictional reality distract you. Confront that brutal reality, and that is the first step to winning through intimidation. And I feel like this book gives that as the first step, but there's literally a hundred other steps that are awesome, and this is a fantastic book if you have an interest in reading it. So that is my point that I've taken from this book, Winning Through Intimidation, How to Win in a World Where Everyone is Trying to Intimidate. Confront the brutal reality, and that's the first step. So I hope you've enjoyed this book review or the Intense Life book review. If you don't have a desire to read the book, you've got an actionable, practical step. If you do have a desire, you know a little bit more about the book itself and how it might impact your life. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you at TheIntenseLife.com.